Hey, you are most welcome here. So today I'm going to take you through Ngrok or oh, Ngrok. It depends where you come from. Yes, my name is Ronnie Altair and I'm glad that you chose this particular channel for this type of content. So I have here a small application, basically it's a Hello World in Flask. And uh, if I'm to run this, for example, uh, let me go to the root directory and just say pi hello that pi automatically runs on um okay i've turned the debugger on i can choose switch it off it automatically runs on port 81 and i have set it to run on any um ip address so uh what that means is that i can actually come and do uh localhost then do 81 you see that we have hello world with python flask or oh, alternatively i can actually copy this because i'm connected to internet that's why it's bringing this uh, ip address that i'm currently using on the internet it actually brings the same thing so for me to be able to share this to someone else uh, for example let's say i'm assuming that i'm offline and i want to share this with someone else i would want to expose my local server to this person and in Grok is the go to tool and if you just actually taped you can actually get it from grok.com mm, when you visit grok.com you can then sign up for free but um so that you can actually get started so if you log into Ngrok, I already have uh, an account with Ngrok. That means you have to create an account first. So uh, as you can see, you can download it automatically. It uh, identifies that I'm running a Windows. And if you're on Mac or Linux, you can actually check your distro uh, here. And if you're running a Windows 32-bit, you could actually download also from here. So this one is basically 64, and this is actually, um, I think, 186, something like that. Yes, that's it, basically. So the easier way for Windows person to do is actually click on the download button. Then it automatically starts downloading. So there you actually go through steps of installing this. Then you actually then have it on your terminal. So to get started with the Ngrok, it is actually simple. So uh, after connecting to, you'll have to connect your account. For example, this is actually my token. So you have to copy this command. After copying this command, you go in your terminal. You go in your terminal. Me, I already have Ngrok. Um, I already have Ngrok uh, here, so if I can just say Ngrok, it will actually return uh, all these commands that are actually available. You can see this config and all these other uh, commands. So uh, I could actually paste here my uh, configuration uh, token. Yes, and uh, then after that, you can now fire it up in just three steps. Do you good to go? So, since I'm already running this and I've already configured this, for you, you'll have to configure this the authorization token so that you're able to use your account. And where do you get the authorization token? You can actually get it from here if you clicked here, it would actually return uh, this token that you're seeing here. Yes, and um, yes, that's it, and you're good to go. So, for example, I'm running main on a port, my local server on port 81. I just have to tell Ungrok which port I'm serving uh, my current local server. So, I just have to come to, oh, I open another terminal. So, you have another terminal running for the server the python flask application 
you create another terminal then this terminal will just say grok grok 81 not actually grok http port 81 so uh, it shows it as actually connected because I already have an account and it's a free uh, freemium version that I'm using it shows with the, um, the country that was connected to the region and um, so actually this is a region not a country and shows the latency the web interface so this is basically for you to access this locally but what we actually connect uh, having concern about is this URL so the forwarding is the HTTPS URL on the internet that is actually clicked or shared uh, with the person you want to share with remotely so if I copy that come and uh, paste it here you see it automatically identifies it's an HTTPS and uh, the web interface is HTTP so I click this site because I trust the source you see boom so automatically if I shared with you this it, that means you could actually also get to view what I'm actually running even if I'm doing like um quick uh reloads like i'm d i'm deploying live and uh, there's a hot load hot reload enabled so everything that every feature update you actually get to see but the main thing for you to be able to actually have this working is to add the config token yeah you copy that command and just that's these three steps that i showed you on the website from grok and you will be good to go so what in group does yeah um, is basically creating a secure tunnel for you and it doesn't actually get to see other services that you're actually running so it exposes only your local server and that's it and uh, it's it does this uh, through our system which is a little bit complicated and and it, the systems that are uh, behind NAT or a firewall are actually exposed. Yes, and um, that's it. If you want to have um, another version, like if you want to have a premium version of Ungrok, you have to pay up and maybe go for a premium version, which actually will have links that are persistent. Because this, I think, goes up to a few hours and this link will have to recreate a new one but even a pro version i believe there is more to this so when you're in a freemium um, version like mine you will be limited uh, how much you could actually use yes that's it about ungrok it was created by someone called i think alan uh he goes by is he called alan uh, I think yeah, he's called Alan Shriv and um, he's also known as Inko Shriv or something like that and the cross-platform uh, application it, as, we, as we all saw it has all those uh, it has uh, Windows what, what 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 all the actually available I also do have a blog about um, Grok leave it in the description for you to be able to go through and uh, I also wanted to mention you could actually download ngrok just ngrok.com uh, slash download if you want to use commands for example on Windows you could use choco install ngrok and this is chocolate and this chocolate helps us to install programs and I would advise you to use PowerShell. Uh, you just have to say PowerShell, and then uh, maybe uh, uh, open PowerShell as an admin. You need to run it as an admin. Then you just say choco install uh, ngrok. If you don't want to go this hard way of installing ngrok, because I would prefer this because it's what I actually used. Uh, if on Linux, so uh, we could do Docker. It shows you how to actually run and install it. Um, uh, Mac, uh, then other 
uh, free BSDs. So yes, that's it basically. And um, the other thing also I wanted to mention is uh, is the fact that uh, you could actually also uh, see what is happening on the web interface. So if you came and copied this URL, so that means this is actually a local uh, URL. By default, it runs on port forty forty. So if I clicked and pasted it here, you see, uh, it actually tells us what is actually happening behind the scenes. And it's been 18 minutes since I've been running my server. Yes, that's it to actually even give you um, some logs for you, what's actually happening. Yes, that's it. And you can see that you're actually online, you're not offline. Yes, if you want to read more, this documentation about Unglock, if you want to inspect status, uh, those are the things you'd want to start using and look through. This shows you what actually is happening, also the metrics, um, connections, and uh, latency, HTTP requests, if there are any, uh, durations, uh, APKI, APKI, and yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Have a blessed one. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Stay blessed.